various places in Iraq, including Ashraf. What happened was, uh, as uh, I guess uh, Secretary of State Colin Powell said uh, almost a decade ago, uh, if you go into a, uh, a shop and you break a valuable piece of glass, uh, you're going to be asked to buy it. Even if it's in smithereens, you're going to be asked to buy it. The United States made a deal. It was in the United States' best interest in their military activities and policing activities, and I'm not being critical of it, just trying to be uh, respectful to it and to the people of Ashraf. The United States made a deal to protect 3,400 people. And then uh, political uh, exigencies led to no longer protecting them. Now, I don't have the insight to know exactly who went in to say we're going to put a police station here and for us to put a police station here, uh, we don't bring mortars and bricks. We bring uh, Humvees and, and, and big equipment and we drive it through you and we hit you with things. I, I, I don't know exactly who did that. Probably we will never fully know who did that. But what we know is that 3,400 people, many of whom are women and children, were left not only unprotected, but unprotected in an atmosphere where any knowing person was sure that trouble was going to come. The issue wasn't whether trouble would come. But what I do know is that the United States has chosen, in spite of the fact that the European nations uh, have removed the designation of terrorist from the people of Ashraf and those who support the people of Ashraf,